वेलकम एवरी वन टू मैक आउट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग चैनल सो नाउ द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज पावर फैक्टर बेसिकली वट इज पावर फैक्टर एंड वट आर द डिसएडवाटेजेज ऑफ पावर फैक्टर दिस इज द नेक्स्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर योर बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल एग्जामिनेशन ओके पावर फैक्टर सो वट इज पावर फैक्टर बेसिकली पावर फैक्टर इज the cosine angle cosine angle between voltage and current in an ac circuit what does this statement means okay basically it is nothing but your cosine angle there is some angle okay for example you represent your cosine angle with help of pi okay so this pi cosine angle is nothing but between the voltage and current in an ac circuit your ac circuit is there for example like this okay this is a cosine angle it is between your voltage and your current i okay this cosine angle is your power factor okay now you can also define power factor as the ratio of true power to the apparent power so it is the ratio of true power to the apparent power it is next point it is denoted by cos phi okay it is denoted by cos phi now let's make a simple diagram to explain what is power factor simple take one axis okay take another axis along the z axis okay <coughs> now drop a perpendicular now drop a perpendicular okay now what i uh, what did we discuss that it is the cosine angle between voltage and current so we'll take voltage along one axis okay we will take current along one axis okay and the angle between this the angle between this is nothing but your power factor okay so now your current is there okay so whenever there are two axes for example this is your x axis this is your y axis okay the x axis the component should is always divided as cos phi isn't it and the y axis component like this one is denoted as sin phi isn't it so i have taken current along this axis so this will be as taken as i sin pi and this will be your i cos phi isn't it okay so this i cos phi is true power because we discussed that it is the ratio of true power to apparent power so true power to apparent power i sin phi is your apparent power okay now disadvantages okay this disadvantages might come for two marks okay so this what are the disadvantages of having bad power factor first if your power factor is low low power factor that means the kv rating or the current rating will increase for the equipment for the machine okay for example there is a machine okay so if the low power factor is low then the current rating of that machine will increase next causes copper loss causes copper loss voltage regulation will be poor so if voltage regulation is poor that means your efficiency efficiency will be less hence the machine will be less efficient because of low power factor which results in low 
voltage regulation voltage regulation means the power which was sending from one end okay for example there is a supply but you are receiving the power at the other end that is the receiver's end one is your sending end from where the power is been delivered and other is the receiver end okay so the voltage regulation is this from sender end to the uh, receiver's end this voltage regulation will be very poor hence the efficiency will be very less